For a career in the electrical trade, GS Wheels Company has a comprehensive package just waiting for you. 1-866-865-5758 for more information or scan the QR code.
they talked about having you know diversity this year, but they've handled it very well. We got an interesting story about how it's gotten involved in a girl's lacrosse. We'll tell that in just a minute. Uh, right now, though, I want to tell you who's been on the board here first. Jay Bullen, that's his name, but the better known as Boo, has been on fire this season, and here she comes, a shot on there is done early on by number 101. Juana Fon, a couple of players on this Red Eddies team in her first year playing lacrosse, trying the position for the very first time this year, never played lacrosse before, and when I had a chance to catch up with the head coach for the Red Eddies before the game, he got on the phone and talked about her and said, she's probably got more guts than anyone here out on this field here today. Eagles going to the Eastern Pipe and doing a really good job in the quarter. Ball is on fire right back down to midfield. Where the Blue Rocks will pick it up. Handled there by Katie Wentworth. On the far side of the field, ground ball scooped up there by Haley. Team will look to exit out of the defensive zone. Bunyan Wentworth is one of the defensive players out there right now, helping to clear it up for the right-handed side, Kenny Sullivan Smith will hold it for them. Too wide with that speed right there, accelerated pass to the defense. Center makes the play, gets the thing going here inside the arc. Bunyan Warrior has it now, gets it off here, now they'll cross over, this will be to Lee Hayes, Hayes fires the shot, scores and that was the scouting report you've got to stop is Lee Hayes and she was at it again here already it's one nothing as Edward Little takes the lead coming into this game is Lee Hayes just five points from her 100th career point and with that goal right there now she is just four points away from 100 in her career by the way that will be a school record Gets the first one here with 22.06 to go here in the first. Ball will come back out now, and here they come again. A chance here. Look at Hayes go as she works toward the net. Fires one through the five hole this time and scores again. So Abby Morgan there trying to deal with Hayes, who is just on fire out of the gate, has two goals in under five seconds. She scores two goals in a five-second span and provides the Eddies with a 2 nothing lead. right now need to win this draw to slow down Izzy Hayes. Ball goes up, came from right to left. Play Ward over there as well. Now here comes Chamberlain. Chamberlain darts toward the net, lost it, fell down, and she will get up. Let's see what we have here. This may be a very good opportunity right here. start and she tries to capitalize goes low bounces one home off the dirt and into the back of the net and so with 21 26 to go here in this first half all of a sudden the Bulldogs have responded with their best goal scorer and Madison Chamberlain that's what I think we're going to see a lot of here tonight back and forth between these two superstars for these two teams. Will handle the draw again. Top players on the field. Leading goal scorers for both teams. Hayes fairly evenly matched as they both have, of course, as I said, at least one potent goal scorer. Here's a chance now. The Bulldogs 
Today's team being brought to you by Pliable Marketing, helping high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brands. If you want to play
play college sports, you need a recruiting video to send to coaches. If you're a sophomore, junior, or senior, don't wait until it's too late. Get ahead of your competition. Create your video now. Learn more at pliablemarketing.com or call 1-707-PLIABLE. Today's game also brought to you by Chase Toys on the Thorndike Road in Unity, your one-stop shop for Sea-Doo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com, like them on Facebook, or call 948-5729 and ask for Josh or Brian. Today's game also being brought to you by Northeast Truck and Refrigeration, a family-owned and operated business founded in 2002. They have a wide range of services that include heavy truck and trailer repair, chassis repair, refrigeration and mobile AC and truck and trailer maintenance, plus trailer sales located at 1020 Albion Road in Unity or call them at 948-5700. Dosti's Towing on Bangor Road in Benton is more than a towing service. Dosti's provides several types of roadside assistance, including light and heavy-duty towing, roadside mechanic service, and off-road recovery. Once you're towed, Dosti's can provide collision and engine repair. If your vehicle just needs maintenance, Dosti's also offers top-notch service. And you can check them out at Dosti's. Call them, 207-805-6300. 7-2. It's a windy day here at Lawrence High School. Breezy. The temperatures, we said, around 63 degrees, but certainly winds uh, around 15, 18 miles per hour with the gusts. And beautiful sun shining here as it begins to set on the Lawrence High School field. Best days of the week. It's going to get a little hot here in Maine over the next few days. Thursday, they're talking about temperatures in 85. We will have, of course, the softball game for you tomorrow. It'll be the Lawrence Bulldogs against Miranda Cook. We'll see Jasmine Johnson, Ashley Shores, and the rest of the Bulldogs tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you join us for that. should be a 4 o'clock first pitch. So they'll restart here after the timeout from the Bulldogs. By the way, they are a player up here as this shot comes in. Redirected. Saved there as Bonifon makes the save. Now it'll come back over to the far side of the cage. Scooped up there and then fall down. We'll get a whistle here to stop play. They'll try and bring it back up the field here. Carried ahead by Hayes. Hayes had it stolen away. Now here's a chance for Chamberlain. Chamberlain toward the net. Looking for a hole. And Kate the shot off there. Bonifon able to make the save. And now play comes back the other way here as the Eddies goalie Bonifon tries to clear this one all the way back out to midfield. Whistle here to stop play. Looks like they're going to get the ball here back for the Bulldogs. So here comes Lawrence again. Burst of speed for Churchill. She is quick. Trying to work toward the outside. Now cuts back inside. Trying to dart one in there. And a save by Bonifon. Got it with her. It looked like her left leg. And then makes the save here to corral the rebound. They'll try and clear this out. She's got sticks in her face. As this one's cleared back out. Ball still down on the ground. Ground ball finally there. Scooped up momentarily. But knocked away again. Still fighting for it. We talked about this grass surface earlier. That's one of the things you'll definitely notice is that it's not easy to pick up ground balls, or at least as as quickly as it would be on a turf surface. There's another stick to the face. This time it goes into the face of Wilson, and we're going to see a flag come out here. So 
So 11.42 and counting to go, and now going to be a great chance for Danielle Wilson. The Bulldogs down by a goal. Here's Wilson, the sophomore attack player, trying to toss it off to the left. Eight, able to get it to Ward. Ward shot there, deflected, and then cleared away. Bonifon back out to midfield. Bouncing ball across the midfield line. Overrun there by Sadie Wentworth. Ground ball still loose. Got to be at least seven or eight players right there fighting for that ground ball, and then finally a whistle. That'll stop play. Ball goes down again. Picked up there by Chamberlain this time. Chamberlain races her way back into the offensive end, trying to get inside the arc here. Pushed off the play a little bit. Now works her way to the right-hand side. Darts back the other way, spun around, fell down. And we're going to see a whistle to stop play and a free possession here coming up for the Bulldogs. Chance here. Chamberlain goes low this time. A kick saved by Bonifon. Back around the far side of the net. Chance here as Kaylee Nutter comes around the back of the net. This one trickles into the back of the net. Looked like that was a dead play and now Bonifon puts her head up in frustration. I think she lost sight of where that ball was. And she's frustrated with herself as the players head back up the field. So what a way to tie the game. As it looked like the last player to maybe touch that was Zoe Ward before that went in the back of the net. Again, it looked like that went in Kind of under friendly fire, and as a result, give the goal here to Zoe Ward with 9.40 to go. That's going to be her second of the day. And now off to the races is Madison Chamberlain, upended there. Brought back the other way now by Zoe Ward. Ward with those long legs continues to run her way down the field. Takes a shot, just goes wide to the left post. Now the ball will get out of bounds. Let's see who they're going to award this ball to. It was close as both teams were running for it. Piper Bonifon trying to clear it out herself. Bouncing ball. Still loose out by midfield. A chance now coming the other way for Kalen Langlois. Langlois is looking to try and get some help here. Hands it off there to Smith. The Eddie's looking to get the offense going. Jumping into the plays comes Hayes as she crosses over the 30. Now looks to dart toward the net. Got stopped there. Great play by Kylie Henderson to come over and stop her. And we're going to see a timeout on the field. The Eddies will take it. We'll keep it right here with you. And remind you about in today's uncertain times, home and business security is a need, not a luxury. ECS computers can install surveillance cameras at home or your business so you can feel safe 24-7. ECS computers can also advise your business on how to set up a computer network or set it up for you. Need a custom-built computer? ECS can do that too. When you want professional computer service, call ECS Computers at 956-0327 and ask for Jeremiah. ECS Computers, your technology experts. For more information, visit ECS Computers online 
at ecscomputersonline.com. Also a reminder that Epic View Studios has sponsorship space available for this broadcast. If you're looking to attract more customers, hire employees, or create awareness for your business, we can help. There are thousands of viewers just like you who watch sports here on Epic View Studios. Get your ad on TV. Call Brian at 207-631-8870 or email epicview at yahoo.com. Earlier today, I was talking about the head coach for the Eddies, Sean McKinnon, and his interesting connection to the sport of women's lacrosse. Right now, he serves as the Central Maine Mustangs golf coach down in Auburn. But that's not his only gig. He's also the 8th grade boys basketball teacher down in the Auburn area. The native of Rocky Hill, Connecticut. And when he went to USM, he was there for four years on the golf team. He was the senior captain eventually. And as part of his work-study program, he was part of the team that would work on the women's lacrosse games. So they would manage the games. They would maybe take tickets. And uh, part of what student-athletes do at the college level is support the other school athletic teams in whatever way they can. So he had a chance to take in a lot of women's lacrosse. He ended up connecting with Ashley Dyer, the head coach for USM at the time. And he said that she helped him a lot with the game of girls lacrosse and has made him the coach that he is today. She now is at Bonnie Eagle. And certainly a cool story about how the game of women's lacrosse has been handed down and here he is helping the Edward Little Red Eddies as they grow their program again he also mentioned to me nine of the 15 players on this team had yet to play lacrosse before this year they've got a good coach here's a chance for one of their best players Izzy Hayes as that shot gets fired wide of the post it will squirt just out of bounds Shout out to the officials here today. There is an official shortage in the state of Maine. So if you're interested in officiating girls lacrosse or any sport, be sure to contact your local athletic director. Here's a chance now on the far side where it's picked up by the Eddies, Cora Cunningham. Cunningham trying to steer it back toward the slot area here. Passes one in front. That's knocked down and brought back the other way here by Kylie Delisle. Delisle with a great burst of speed, trying to get past the defender in Smith. Delisle now squares toward the net, fires a shot, but it's stopped at the last second by Bonifon. Great effort there by Delisle. This one comes all the way back down. Talking with uh, head coach Caitlin Daly before the game about how she's been able to grow the program at Lawrence. And we were talking about some of the superstar athletes that are here at Lawrence High School. Names like Maddie Niles and Maddie Provost came up in that conversation. And she would love to get more girls to play the sport of girls lacrosse. Here's a chance now as this one is brought toward the net and a shot on and into the back of the net for Hayes. That's her third here today. She's got a hat trick. And with 6.21 to go here in the first half, it is the Eddies out on top again now by the score of 4-3. to three. So Izzy Hayes with the hat trick. She is now two points away from 100 in her career, which would also mark a school record. So the draw will come back out here to midfield.
this time. Chamberlain able to push the ball to the near sideline. And on the restart here, it'll be the Eddies coming the other way. And now Chamberlain goes down. That was because of failure to advance the ball. But now we're going to see a penalty here. This time it's again going to go against Stella Smith, it looks like. It's going to be her second penalty here today. So it looks like here it'll be a player up again for the Bulldogs. Great individual effort by Madison Chamberlain. Creates this opportunity. Give the explanation over to Sean McKinnon. A pretty short roster for the Eddies. Thirteen players total. And that's been one of the thorns in their side. Unfortunately, they just don't have the numbers that some of these other teams do. So when it gets to late in the game, Oftentimes, they are running out of gas. Six oh four to go here in the first. 4-3, the lead right now for the Eddies. Madison Chamberlain getting ready here on the whistle. Again, Bulldogs now a player up as they look to try and tie the game. Here comes Chamberlain, able to get by the defense, looking to get a shot off, pulls it back out, took a knee to the thigh, and then sends it down to the right-hand side. They'll work it back behind the net. Here's Nutter, out in front. Back outside again to Ward. Ward has two goals here today. Ward. Shuffles her way, cradles it back over, passes to Chamberlain, who scores! And Madison Chamberlain has her second here today, and it ties the game. So 5.25 to go here in the first half, and Madison Chamberlain has tied the game at four. Her second goal here today. She's their leading goal scorer for the Bulldogs. I was talking with the head coach for the Eddies, Sean McKinnon, before the game. He was scouting Lawrence, and I thought he did a really good job because he was able to go back and he found statistics from last year. And he looked up the name of Kalen Bork, who led the team in scoring. And he immediately wanted to see it, so he was looking for where Kalen Bork was. And he didn't find her on the roster. And <laughs> had a conversation before the game with him, and I said, yep, Kalen Bork would have torn this place apart, and that's what she's doing at Kent's Hill now. Uh, I said, uh, they just won their uh, championship, and she wants to play Division One ice hockey. He said, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> and uh, so he's thankful they don't have to deal with the Kalen Bork show today, but they got their hands full already. Here was Zoe Ward. Here comes Ward again. Ward now coming in, looking to get a shot off. This one goes wide, and it looks like the Bulldogs should keep this as it goes out of bounds with 5.04 to go here in the first. Kalen Bork, for the record, did lead Kent's Hill in scoring. So for those Bulldogs fans that saw her put on the show here last year, she is at it again. She is picking up right where she left off. Ball still down here with 4.40 to go as this ball will be awarded back now to the Eddies and they'll come the other way. So here come the Eddies again. Racing all the way down the field and the shot goes over the crossbar. 
And that shot there by Marina Morgan. Looks like she took a stick there to the arm as she was coming back the other way. So quick substitution here now. The man up situation is over as Kaylin Langlois comes off the bench. This one thrown back ahead. Picked up here by Danielle Wilson. Wilson looking to work her way toward the net. They've got a chance here, spreading out the defense. Wilson needs some help. 3.35 to go here in this first half. We're tied at four. Bulldogs today with two goals by Zoe Ward, two goals by Madison Chamberlain. For the Eddies, three goals by Izzy Hayes, one goal by Stella Smith. Controlled outside right now by Kaylee Nutter. Nutter trying to get her way toward the net here, but there was a whistle, stop play. So it looks like they're going to give this to her just outside the arc on this free possession. Pulls it back out. Nutter down low, trying to give it off there to Henderson. She couldn't corral it, and they're going to give it back now to the Eddies. This one sent back out to midfield. Bouncing ball. Rolls back across midfield. Here's a chance cut into the net for Churchill. Pulls it back, never got the shot off. Still with possession, gives it off now to Wilson. Wilson drives, throws one on goal. Bonifon there with a save. Rebound inside the eight meter. And a whistle to stop play. So on this restart now, it's going to be Chamberlain with the ball. Passed it off there to Churchill. Lost it for a second. Scooped it back up. Back over to Nutter again. Nutter curls to the outside. Throws one on goal and into the back of the net. So Kaylee Nutter gives the Bulldogs their first lead of the game. As Nutter came around and fired one to the far side post and tucks it home with 120 to go here in the first half. So Nutter gets the goal, her first today. And again, it gives the Bulldogs their first lead of the game. They went down early 2-0 with two goals by Izzy Hayes. You can really hear the energy on the far side of the field from Caitlin Daly. She's had a great first year here as the head coach for the Bulldogs. Zoe Ward now runs very quickly ahead. No stopping her as she comes toward the 8 meter, wanting to let one go, but we're going to get a whistle here to stop play. Looks like she was hassled there a little bit from behind, so they'll award her this free opportunity with 54 seconds to go. Here's Ward with the shot, low but just wide of the net. Players race after it here. They're going to give it back to the Bulldogs. Here's a chance now for Nutter. Comes around, fires a shot on. That just went wide of the post. Looked like Bonifon may have even got a piece of it. This 
This one will come back out again. Here's Churchill trying to drive. Here's a chance for Churchill. That one just wide of the net. Three seconds to go, and it's going to go back to the Eddies. And the siren will sound here at Lawrence High School. One half in the books. It's the Bulldogs in front by the score of 5-4. to four. When we come back, we'll have more for you here on Epic View Studios. slip or fall, or maybe even something more serious, be sure to check out Advanced Health Physical Therapy and Fitness in Waterville. Their team of physical therapists can help you get back to doing the things that you love. With one-hour appointments, they work with you to create a customized treatment plan to help you recover faster. Right now, there are immediate appointments available. When you book an appointment, they evaluate your situation and create a treatment plan that can include therapeutic exercise, sports therapy, trigger point release, e-stimulation and ultrasound treatment, deep tissue and muscle work, and more. Whether it's neck or back pain, a knee problem, or recent surgery, they will help you recover the natural way. They accept new patients and most insurance, including main care. So, if you're looking to get back in the game, get back to work, or get back to doing the things that you love, give Advanced Health Physical Therapy and Fitness a call at 207-873-4638 and tell them Maddie sent you. Update your outdoor living space and make the most of your outdoor life with a new deck from Hammond Lumber Company. From wood to low maintenance composite and PVC decking, Hammond has the materials, knowledge, and experience to help you get everything you need for that perfect new deck. Railing options include wood, composite, aluminum, and the modern look of cable railing. Your Hammond sales rep can answer any questions and will walk you through your options. Get the deck you want, the one you deserve, when you bring your vision to Hammond Lumber Company.
your wedding truly epic. Contact Epic View Studios now for wedding videography, photography, DJs, and more. Sure, there's more than one way to get the job done, but sometimes there's really no comparison. With all the power and versatility you'll ever need, you'll get more done in a day with Polaris. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity, your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com, like them on Facebook, or call Josh or Brian today at 948-5729. Foley's Famous Frank's on College Avenue in Waterville has been serving up legendary meals since 1962. Want a taste that'll bring you back to a simpler time? Foley's has the nostalgic flavor you're looking for. The iconic, fresh-cut crinkle fries that put Foley's on the map in the 1960s are piping hot and have just been lightly salted. Great food, great prices, and don't forget to ask about our locally famous homemade salt pork. You'll notice our clean environment, consistent quality, and fast, friendly service as always. If you're on a lunch break or want a fast, great meal for the entire family, Bowley's is your hot spot. Welcome to Bowley's. How can we help you? Find us on Facebook and stop in on 96 College Avenue in Waterville for your next bite of nostalgia. Foley's Famous Franks, bringing back a classic. your local school or group looking to raise money? Our goal at Maine Athletic Fundraising is to raise you the most amount of money in the shortest period of time, hassle-free. It's uh, brought in thousands of dollars to our program. It's allowed us to elevate our program to the next level. The customer service that we get from the employees at Maine Athletic Fundraising guiding us through the entire fundraiser is second to none. So we're able to have a great fundraiser, have a great time doing it, involve the community, and at the end of the day, raise the most amount of money in a short period of time. Chase Toys, Inc., where sales and service are full throttle. Chase Toys, Inc. is your one-stop shop for Toro zero-turn mowers. Large inventory of Toro zero-turn mowers are now in stock. Visit them at chasetoysinc.com. Like them on Facebook. Stop into their Thorndike Road location in Unity or call 948-5729. Ready to grow your business? Email us at epicview at yahoo.com for a custom marketing plan. That's epicview, E-P-I-C-V-U-E, epicview at yahoo.com. Towing on the Bangor Road in Benton isn't just a towing service. Dossie's Towing provides all manner of roadside assistance, including light to heavy duty towing, roadside mechanic service, and off road recovery. Once you're towed, Dossie's can provide collision and engine repair. If your vehicle just needs maintenance, Dossie's also offers top notch service, including brakes, tires, and any other major or minor engine repair. From 24-hour roadside assistance to vehicle repair, Dosties has it all. Call 805-6372, 24 hours a day. Grab 
life by the bars and see how far you can go. Introducing Polaris Sportsman with Ride Command. Smart tech that displays your location and keeps track of friends even without cell service so you can explore more of the great outdoors. Polaris, think outside. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity, your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com, like them on Facebook, or call Josh or Brian today at 948-5729. Renovating or building new, you'll find a wide selection of high-performing, energy-efficient, and beautiful windows and doors at Hammond Lumber Company. Your Hammond sales representative will walk you through the showroom displays and help you choose options to create a personalized, custom look. Free in-home measurement is available, and Hammond can deliver your order from any of their locations across Maine and New Hampshire. Bring your vision and enjoy better light and added security and energy savings with quality windows and doors from Hammond Lumber Company. Today's live broadcast of high school sports action is sponsored by the generosity of the following local sponsors. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity, your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com, like them on Facebook, or call Josh or Brian today at 948-5729. Looking for a career in the electrical trade? E.S. Bulos Company has a comprehensive package just waiting for you. 1-866-865-5758 for more information or scan the QR code below. Second half between the Lawrence Bulldogs and the Edward Little Red Eddies. Welcome back to the Hudamaki Pack. Steve Private down to the Today's game between the Bulldogs and the Red Eddies. Started this game with two goals by Izzy Hayes. She looked like she was going to be off and running. However, the Bulldogs responded right back with two goals of their own, Madison Chamberlain and Zoe Ward. Then it was Stella Smith scoring with 16.05 to go in the first. And then about uh, seven minutes later, Zoe Ward would tie it up again at three only to have Izzy Hayes get her third goal of the game, made it a hat trick with 6.21 to go in the first, and that made it a 4-3 lead. However, the Bulldogs late in that first half would get two goals, one by Madison Chamberlain, one by Kaylee Nutter, and take the 5-4 lead. So that's how we start this second half between the Bulldogs and the Eddies. Glad you're with us here on Epic View Studios today. As these two teams battle for an important win. When you think about it, these two teams coming into today, certainly not at the top of their standings, but they're, again, growing these two programs. Bulldogs on the season three and nine. This is their final game of the season. It is also senior day, as we mentioned. Here comes a chance for Chamberlain, one of those seniors, as she wraps her way back behind the net. Now she'll come out on the other side. Chamberlain turns and fires and scores. Madison Chamberlain able to get the goal. That's her third of the day. Her hat trick provides a 6-4 lead. So the Bulldogs pick up right where they left off after the first half. And the first goal of this second half comes just 24 seconds in. And it belongs to Madison Chamberlain. So a hat tick today for Chamberlain. Three goals here and has provided them with a 6-4 lead. It's the largest lead that they've had in this game. We talked about how these two teams came into this one. The Eddies on the season, they're 2-9. and nine. And when you take a look at their last four games, and you add up the goals that have been allowed, 88 goals allowed. That includes the 25-0 game against Gardner. They've scored 20, but again, it just shows you the teams that they're playing. Now, granted, they also play in a very tough conference when you look at some of the teams that they face in Class A. 
One of those, of course, being Gardner. Gardner out of Class B, though, you know, certainly a team that has a lot of talent, but you look at some of the teams that they play even just in Class A, and here's another one for the Eddies as they get on the board. Talking about the way that they've played a lot of these games, and the reason why they've won a lot of them is Izzy Hayes, who scores here and makes it 6-5. She's one point away from 100 and the school record. She's tied right now for the school record with 99 points in her career. And has a chance to break it here tonight. We looked at their schedule. I was telling you about their schedule. They do have one more game after this one. They'll play coming up on June 2nd. That game will be against Mount Blue. But they play teams, obviously, like Lewiston and Deering, Oxford Hills, St. Dominic. Very good teams. This one rings off the post, and it's taken back again. The Eddies will regroup. Chamberlain able to clear it back out. Here comes Nutter. Trying to work her way toward the net. Instead, she'll peel it back and then throw one in front. Ball down for Wilson trying to get at it. Able to scoop it up on the near side. Over to the near side for Churchill, all alone behind the net. Churchill trying to work her way out in front. Ball down. We got a flag out here. And it looks like they're going to give this ball here back to the Bulldogs at the top of the 12 meter. And so that will be a very good chance here now for Churchill. In a 6-5 game, Churchill goes low. This one deflected there by Bonifon. And they're going to give this back here to Bulldogs again. On the restart, controlled there by Henderson. Far side, dropped there by Nutter, got it back. Nutter comes around the arc. Holds on to it here. Now looking to dodge her way toward the net. Took a shoulder there, tried to lean in. Couldn't get anything going there. Ball comes over to the near side. This is one thing the Bulldogs have been working on, is using good communication to put one home as Kaylee Nutter came out from behind the net and put that one home. And just like that, the Bulldogs extend the lead back to two. So a good job there. They really, you could see, that's some noticeable difference between the games we've seen earlier in the year and the way that they set that goal up, drastically different. And that looked a lot more like what Caitlin Daly, the head coach for the Bulldogs, has talked about that they've been working on is the communication in the offensive end and also really focusing on off-the-ball movement and really trying to generate chances. And they were able to do that there. They moved around very well on that offensive possession, and it led to a goal. So here comes the ball back the other way again. Bulldogs looking to try and get possession. We've got a it's like an injury here as Whitney Churchill is going to come out of the game. Looks like she may get hit in the head, in the top of the head. She's holding her head. And she goes to the sideline. 
So coming into the game here for the Bulldogs is going to now be substitution with it. This now right here is a chance for Ward as she tried to get the shot off. It goes back to behind the net. Into the game is Amari Sam, the freshman. You can hear the good communication out there as Nutter now looks to try and get something going. Sends it over near side to Henderson. Lost it. Rolls toward the near sideline. She'll scoop it up there. Here's Henderson over to the far side of the net. Tosses it back out now to Wilson. Wilson cradles the ball to the far side of the arc. Defended there tightly by Langlois. They got a cutter. They didn't see Ward. She was coming right down the slot area. Here comes a chance now again for Ward. Ward now on the backside, just wide of the net as Wilson scoops up the rebound. Bulldogs work it here with 19.44 to go. In the second half, they lead 7-5. Chance now for Nutter again. Fires a shot on and she scores. Kaylee Nutter gets the goal. And for Nutter, that's her second here today. And all of a sudden, they are off and running. So with 19.35 to go here in this second half, the Bulldogs have extended the lead now to 8-5. To so again, that's Nutter with the goal. And extends it to a three-goal lead for the Bulldogs. That is their largest lead of the game, but here comes a chance now as Izzy Hayes comes in, fires a shot, and she scores. And that is history. Career point number 100 for Izzy Hayes with that goal as she sets the new school record at Edward Little. 19.20 to go here in the second half, and she has set the school record. And you can see why with the way she has played today, there is no doubt that that record is probably going to stand for quite some time. Izzy Hayes with her fifth goal today, able to get her 100th point in her career. And coming into this one, the head coach of the Red Eddies, Sean McKinnon, mentioned it to me that she was by far and away one of their best players and was well aware of that stat. And she put that to good use here today with five goals and doing it in style with a goal. We'll fight for this ball on the far sideline. Bulldogs back up to midfield. Zoe Ward ahead here. Nutter cutting toward the net, backhand shot on, saved there by Piper Bonifon. Looked like it hit her in the left leg. Toss back up to midfield. Greg Glenn with you here on Epic View Studios today where the Bulldogs and Red Eddies locked up in a good one. Two goals separate these two teams. And Izzy Hayes has put on a show today. Five goals today for her. And we're not even halfway through this second half. She scored her 100th career point here just moments ago. Marina Morgan now with the ball as the wind picks up a little bit here at Lawrence High School. 
bring this around the back of the net. This one passed out in front. Instead, it'll go back over the far side. Here's a chance for Hayes. Hayes, spin move, trying to get around Chamberlain. Takes a high shot, bounces one onto the ground into the back of the net. So Izzy Hayes gets the goal here, and it brings the Eddies within one. 17-17 to go. And Izzy Hayes with her sixth goal of the game has again brought the Eddies within one. She has been special to watch here today. Hayes set to take this draw here. She deals here with Chamberlain. Ball goes down, scooped up there. And now she will look to carry it across here in the offensive zone. Chamberlain now just inside the 30. Cuts toward the net. Good luck. Fires a shot on. Save. Rebound is down. Chamberlain battling for it. And a whistle will stop play. So they're going to award this back here to Edward Little. Now here comes Lawrence again. Sadie Wentworth. Tosses it off here, right-hand side. Kaylee Nutter. Nutter, an open look here, and then pulls it back around. Works behind the net here with Gogan. Here's a chance there as that one blocked away. Chance now here, and that one looks like Zoe Ward took the worst of that one. Or in the, like in the wrist. So she labors a little bit here. And looks like she's trying to convince the referee she'll stay in the game. She's a sophomore midfielder for the Bulldogs. Looks like she's going to continue. And she will be the one with the ball here on the restart. So Zoe Ward with the ball here, 15.46 to go. Ward goes low, saved there by Bonifant. Three Bulldogs right there in the face of Bonifant has to elevate this one all the way back out to midfield. Whistle stops play. Players will run back the other way. That helps the Bulldogs for sure. They would have been caught there with an odd number of players back. So they're happy about that whistle as they can recollect themselves. Peyton Gogan trying to dig for that ball there. Now it rolls back across the midfield line. Closer toward the offensive end here and off to the races is Izzy Hayes. Izzy Hayes takes a stumble, keeps going, fires a shot wide of the left post. Izzy Hayes, very talented attack player for the Red Eddies. Looks like they were checking on one of the Bulldogs players there. It looked like Sadie Wentworth may have taken a shot there, so... She appears to be okay with 14.23 to go here in the second. Near side, Blake Hamill with it. Pressured there tightly 
by Jill Boyden almost a little too tightly. They're calling a push. And play will restart, and the Eddies have the ball here. Langlois looking to try and get something going. Holds on to it, stops, gives it off here now to Hayes. Wanted to shoot, didn't have room to do it. Now crashes in to Kelly Henderson. We'll see what they call here. Came over to meet her right at the exact moment. So they're going to award this here to Izzy Hayes on this shot from just outside the 12 meter. 13.21 to go. Hayes coils back and fires one home. So Hayes now with seven goals here today. Ties the game with 13.16 to go. And that's goal number seven for Hayes. As the Bulldogs now are going to need to find an answer because Izzy Hayes has scored three consecutive goals. And the Bulldogs have not been able to score one since. Don't forget Epic View Studios has sponsorship space available for this broadcast. If you're looking to attract more customers, hire employees, or create awareness for your business, we can help. There are thousands of viewers just like you who watch sports here on Epic View Studios. Get your ad on TV. Call Brian at 207-631-8870 or email epicview at yahoo.com. That's E P I C. V-U-E at yahoo.com. So off the draw here, the Eddie is able to get it across the line, and then a whistle will stop play. Now they'll continue, and the ball belongs to Kalen Langlois. Over to the far side of the field. As the sun begins to set, you can see the shadows creeping onto the field. Ball bounces down there, scooped up by Morgan, had it for a second, lost it, whacked around, ground ball still on the grass, and controlled here by the Bulldogs. They try and exit out of the zone. Whistle here to stop play again. Bulldogs will bring it back up the field. This is Kaylee Nutter with it. Nutter drives toward the open space, fires one off the post as it goes back over to the far side of the field. Oh, what a great chance right there. Bulldogs nearly took the lead here with 12 minutes to go. Here's Wilson with a shot. That one goes wide. And it's going to go back now to the Red Eddies. Bonifon, the goalie, trying to clear it out. Got taken away by Delisle. And now scooped up again here by Nutter. Nutter got a nice pick. Comes in front. Tried to get a shot off. Never got it through. And back behind the net again goes Gogan. Gogan working her way toward the net. Looks for a cutter. And just couldn't get it to Kylie Delisle, cutting down the slot. Ball goes down. Players fight for it. Back outside the 30. Running the other way with it is Langlois. Off to the races. She nearly beat everybody past the defense and fires a shot on and scores. Kaylin Langlois just absolutely took advantage of the opportunity in transition and went down the entire length of the field and has given the Eddies the lead. What a turn of events here in this game. The Red Eddies have now scored four consecutive goals, and those goals all came in a span of about nine minutes. And that last one there coming from Kaylin Langlois. So we will keep it right here and we'll remind you about our player of the game. It will be brought to you by the Hammond Lumber Company with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and online at HammondLumber.com. 
We'll also have today's Precision Play of the Game brought to you by Chase Toys with only precision brands like Polaris ATVs, Ski-Doo Snowmobiles, Lynx Snowmobiles, Climb Apparel, Toro and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. See what's available on the Thorndike Road in Unity or online at chasetoysinc.com. Today's game also being brought to you by Hudamaki in Waterville, now hiring, looking for a new job or seasonal work starting at twenty-one eighty-seven an hour. Join Hudamaki, a company that prides itself in food safety and convenience. Start your career with great benefits and a company that cares about its people and sustainability. Hudamaki Inc., the makers of Chinet. Bring your family back to our family. For more information, visit hudamaki.com. Today's game also being brought to you by Pliable Marketing, helping high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brand. If you want to play college sports, you need a recruiting video to send to college coaches. If you're a sophomore, junior, or senior, don't wait until it's too late. Get ahead of your competition and create your video now. Learn more at pliablemarketing.com or call 1-707-PLIABLE. So both teams will come back out onto the field here with 10.50 to go here in the second half. The Bulldogs today in their white uniforms with the blue numbers. The Eddies in their traditional road uniforms with the maroon jerseys and white numbers. As we come down the stretch here in Fairfield today, 9-8 the lead for the fighting Eddies as the Red Eddies getting a lot of fight because they have had Seven goals today from Izzy Hayes, and they have not quit. They have just kept fighting, and the Red Eddies today, red hot right now. Four unanswered goals and have a 9-8 lead. So off the draw here, the Eddies with the ball. Down that far side, racing after it there. Estella Smith, she's had two penalties today. She's one of their better players. As this rebound comes back outside the 12 meter. Wind picks up again here at Lawrence High School. Here's a shot there by Hayes. That one directed wide of the net. And now scooped up by the Bulldogs. They are desperately trying to get this ball out right now because they have been pummeled with shots here by the Eddies over the last few minutes. Here comes Kaylee Nutter. Nutter cutting toward the net. Fires a shot. That one's high, and it's grabbed there by Bonifon. Font trying to clear it back out all by herself. We saw that script earlier, and it resulted in a goal for Kalen Langlois. Bulldogs this time a little more aware of that strategy. As Wentworth now brings it into the offensive end. We'll see what they do here. This is something they've been working on. Better communication in the offensive end. Nice move there by Wentworth. Tries to escape the defense. Trying to toss it out in front. Didn't have a luck. Now she'll try it herself. Wentworth fires the shot home. So Sadie Wentworth comes all the way around from the near side and goes over to the far side and then fires one home to tie the game at nine. So 9.04 to go here in the second half. And Sadie Wentworth has provided the Bulldogs with the game-tying goal. For Wentworth, her first here today. So Chamberlain here to take this draw as she battles with Hayes. Those two have been two of the top players all day. Kick that there 
by Ward. Here comes Churchill down the middle. And a shot goes wide. That'll get out of bounds. This one will come back to the goalie here in Piper Bonifont. Again, she's just a first-year goalie, first-year lacrosse player. And she's done a terrific job here today for the Eddies. Up ahead, trying to get it now along the left wing side. And he's putting on some more pressure here, something they've done all day today. This comes back outside to Morgan. Ran into a stick there. She tried to pass it off. Ward able to at least deflect the ball. And with eight minutes even to go here in the second half, it's 9 9. Glad you're with us here today on Epic View Studios. Greg Glenn with you here from Fairfield, Maine, where right now the Eddies looking to pick up a ground ball. This one scooped up on the near side. Thrown ahead now by Whitney Churchill. Left-hand side to Wilson. Couldn't corral it. Stolen away there. Haley Thibodeau trying to clear it out. She's pressured from behind by Wilson. Wilson just got her stick on it, enough to get the ball out of the cradle there and out of the pocket. And here comes Hayes. Hayes now dodges one defender, has it with one hand on her stick. That's whacked away. And it looks like Hayes took a shot to the face there. Then upended over on the far side was Ward. No whistles on either play. And now a whistle. Well, things are getting physical out there now. So it'll end up here being Kaylin Langlois with the ball from the top of the 12 meter. Fires a shot on it. She scores. So just like that, Kaylin Langlois has given the Eddies the lead. It's 10-9. And it comes here with 6.45 to go here in the second half. Kaylin Langlois. Getting the goal. Makes it 10-9. This has been a back and forth game all day today. It's had three lead changes in this one. Izzy Hayes has scored her 100th career point today. Scored on her fifth goal of the game. She's got so far seven here total today. Having herself a game. 6.32 to go here in the second half. Plenty of time left in this one for the Bulldogs. There's a shot right there, an elbow that uh, Zoe Ward took up high. So this call is going to result here in Zoe Ward with the ball from the far side of the arc. On this free possession. On the whistle. Here comes Ward. Bouncing shot off the crossbar. And it bounces down in the slot area. Chamberlain trying to track it down. Now kicked out there. Scooped up near side. Nice play by Danielle Wilson. Wilson cradles away from traffic. Big collision. There's a cross check right there. As Kylie Henderson took the cross check right to the chest. And Haley Thibodeau here going to be called for the penalty. And that's a huge penalty in this game with 535 to go because that will put Lawrence... A player up. And especially, too, when you look at the Eddie's roster, we talked about only 13 players on the team. They've certainly had a full game already in this one, and now they'll be a player down. And here's a chance now for 
Danielle Wilson fires one on the ground and bounces one up underneath the crossbar. Just like that, Lawrence has tied it at 10. 5.30 to go here in this second half, and the Bulldogs are right back in it. Wilson with the goal, able to bounce it down low onto the dirt and took a high hop underneath to look like the legs there of Bonifon, the goalie. And Daniel Wilson with the goal that goes eventually underneath the crossbar. And for her, it's her first goal of the game. And most importantly, it makes it a 10-10 tie. So here's Hayes and Chamberlain off the draw. Picked up there by Chamberlain. She has been a warrior today. Here she comes down the slot, fires a shot on kick, saved there by Bonifon. And she's able to corral the rebound, now tries to clear it out. This one passed way up to midfield. Bulldogs defense holds the midfield line, but they can't get the ball yet. Ball still down. Now cross check down, it looked like there was Amari Sam. Now ball still loose, scooped up here near side. Here comes Hayes. Hayes trying to work away from Wentworth. Spin move there. Coming back in, Hayes pushed off that one. We're gonna get a penalty here it looks like. Yeah, there's gonna be a card coming out here. And this is going to go against Kylie Henderson. So now you've got Izzy Hayes here with the ball, top of the arc, with 4.37 to go and a chance to try and give the Eddies the lead. And they will now be, looks like this is going to be even strength here. Now this is 10 on 10, it looks like, as now Hayes will have it. Uh, the penalty should expire here to the Eddies. They will eventually be a man up. Hayes right now waggling her stick, cradling and ready to fire. Save there and a huge one by Abby Morgan. Save of the game right there as it goes back behind the net. Wow, what a stop on the top goal scorer with over 100 career points. This one now sent up along the near side. Fighting for it there was Nutter. Ball still loose. Taken now by Marina Morgan for the Eddies. Tries to get around the defense. Fires a shot on wide of the net. She had got a good look, but just couldn't get it on goal. So now Lawrence will look to get it back upfield. Kindly Delisle bounces the pass up ahead now to Nutter. Nutter, working her way down the sideline. Gets past the 30 yard line. Works her way into the offensive end. Nutter around the far side. Now here's a chance again. Nutter turns, fires and scores! Kaylee Nutter gives Lawrence the lead with 2.47 to go. What a game we've had here today. Kaylee Nutter getting the goal. And for Nutter, you can make that her third here today. Fourth. As she continues with her success here today, and able to provide the Bulldogs with their biggest goal so far, gives them the 11-10 lead. The 
The draw comes back out here at midfield. And now brought here again, back by Churchill. They'd love some insurance. Churchill dodges around one defender, lost it at the last second. By the way, we're back to even strength on both sides now. As Kylie Henderson, the senior, celebrating senior day here in her final game in a Bulldogs uniform. Churchill ready to fire with 2.14 to go here in the second half. Bulldogs lead by a goal. Churchill scores! Whitney Churchill goes low and right between the legs of Piper Bonifon. And with 2.06 to go here in the second half, another big goal by the Bulldogs. Churchill down for first today. And all of a sudden here as the sun begins to set, shadows completely now covering the field. The set on the Eddie's chances to come back in this one. 206 is plenty of time. All it takes is a possession. That's a key point here as the Bulldogs win the draw. As Moo Chamberlain, better known here at Lawrence High School, tries to get across the 30. They whistle the play down, so Madison Moo Chamberlain will try and come back into the offensive end. Here comes Chamberlain. Takes a shot. Keeps running. She took a second shot, and they got the call there. So now, with 1.32 to go here in the second half, here comes Chamberlain, who is the most dangerous goal scorer with a chance to try and pad the lead. Chamberlain pushed away there, but gets a shot off. Rebound comes behind the net. Bulldogs able to maintain possession, and that's critical here. Nutter turns the corner. And then passes it back outside again. Controlled by Amari Sam. Hands it off. Back over now to Churchill. Churchill steers it away. Cuts toward the net. Now pulls back out. They're in no hurry here. They lead by two with a minute to go. As this ball is going to come back over to the far side. And now ball down as it's picked up there. And Chamberlain going to work her way toward the net. Lost it at the last second. That was knocked out of her stick as she tried to cradle her way toward the net. So that'll stop play. They've got Peyton Gogan out there, by the way, who is still looking for her first career goal here this season. And they get that one in. And just like that, all of a sudden, it's Chamberlain again. And there you go. That's another one for Chamberlain as she continues to pile them on. Four for her today. So just like that, with 40 seconds to go here in the second half, that might just be the icing on the cake. As they get the goal here and... Look to try and finish it on senior day with a win. They're 40 seconds away from doing that. And this has been a dog fight here today. Big draw here. This is where if the Eddies are going to come back and have any chance, they're going to have to get possession here off the draw. Izzy Hayes here battles with Madison Chamberlain. Rolls inside the circle still. Ball down. Chamberlain great at winning these balls. Hayes able to knock it away. Fighting back for it is Churchill. 
They'll give this back here and out to the Eddies. Here comes Hayes, trying to cut her way toward the net. Defended there by three defenders. She can't get through. Great defense by the Bulldogs. Comes back outside. There's a shot off the crossbar. That's going to get out of bounds. And I'll go back to the Bulldogs with six seconds to go. As they come back up the field, it's a final. A 13 to 10 win on senior day for the Bulldogs. What a victory here today. This was a hard fought game between two teams that really wanted a W. And the Bulldogs come away with it by the 13 to 10 score. And led today by Madison Chamberlain for sure. She continued to pile on the goals and get the games really going for the Bulldogs. She scored the first goal. She scored the last goal. And uh, as a result, the Bulldogs win this one by the final score of 13 to 10. So today's play of the game is going to go toward the Bulldogs, and we're going to give it to the overall performance today from the goaltender, Abby Morgan. She made several key saves, including one in the third quarter that really saved the game for the Bulldogs. That will be our precision play of the game. Brought to you by Chase Toys with only precision brands like Polaris, ATVs, Skidoo Snowmobiles, Link Snowmobiles, Climb Apparel, Toro, and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. See this available on the Thorndike Road in Unity or online at chasetoysinc.com. And in the victory today, we are going to give the player of the game to Kaylee Nutter as she gets five goals today for the Bulldogs. She ends up with what turns out to be the game winner. She had the 11th goal, and that means that's the game winner. She is our Hammond Lumber Company player of the game, brought to you by the Hammond Lumber Company, with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and online at HammondLumber.com. Also, uh, certainly want to recognize Izzy Hayes today, scoring her 100th career point. She would go on to score two more goals in the game finishes with 102 career points. They still have a game coming up against Mount Blue to finish the week, as, again, she has an incredible accomplishment here today. But it's the Bulldogs that get the win on Senior Day. Final score, 13-10. to 10. We're glad you could join us here on Epic View Studios today. I'm Greg Glenn. For our entire Epic View Studios crew, we're glad you could tune in. Have a great night, everybody. General Hospital is an independent, critical access community hospital located in Skowhegan, Maine. Reddington Fairview provides quality, comprehensive health care services, including adult, geriatric, pediatric primary care, women's health, specialty care, surgical services, and rehabilitation services. We also provide diabetes education, community health education, wellness programs, and support groups. The hospital is located at 46 Fairview Avenue in Skowhegan, Maine. To learn more, call 207-474-5121 or visit online at rfgh.net. Hannaford, your hometown grocery store, is hiring for all positions. Competitive pay, opportunity to advance, and much more. Apply online at hannaford.com and look for the job openings link. Dow's Quick Stop, 74 Western Avenue, Fairfield. Your one stop for gas, food, beverages, and lottery tickets, 453-7054. By Tanya's Tips and Trims, 27 Main Street, Fairfield. A full-service salon and spa for all your beauty needs, 453-1776. By Aquarius Pool and Spa, 224 Augusta Road in Winslow. You deserve this, 872-5827.
I'm Karen Bork. And I'm Alyssa Bork. As sisters, nothing is more important to us than family. Earlier this year, we added to our family when we adopted our dog, Cooper. There are many animals in Maine who are looking for a good home. Whenever you add a furry friend to your family, we encourage you to please be responsible and have your pet spayed or neutered. Our goal is to advocate for the humane treatment of all animals. Kayla knows a lot about goals, and this is one we can all celebrate. This public service announcement is brought to you by the Waterville Humane Society. By Northeast Truck and Refrigeration. Northeast Truck and Refrigeration is a family-owned and operated business that was founded in 2002. We have a wide range of services, which include heavy truck and trailer repair, chassis repair, refrigeration and mobile AC, truck and trailer maintenance, and trailer sales. Located at 1020 Albion Road in Unity, or call us at 948-5700. Hi, I'm Coach Weber, girls ice hockey coach here at Kent Hill School. I play prep school hockey and Division III college hockey. Today, I love helping elite players build their career, and Kent Hill is a great place to do it. With world-class education opportunities and outstanding athletic tradition, we're growing the girls ice hockey program. If you've got a competitive drive and desire to play college hockey, Kent Hill is the place for you. We're recruiting elite players for next season. Come join our pack at Kent Hill. We're passionate about hockey. Make your waterfront even more fun and more functional than it already is with a Shoremaster premium dock system from Hammond Lumber Company. Hammond is the country's largest stocking Shoremaster dealer with standing docks, rolling docks, floating docks, and boat lifts for any watercraft. Shoremaster's nearly limitless customization options make it easy to create the perfect dock system for your needs. Take your shoreline to the next level with Shoremaster from Hammond Lumber Company. Any commercial use, rebroadcast, retransmission, or distribution of the following presentation without the express written consent of Epic View Studios is strictly prohibited. Looking for a new job or seasonal work? Putamaki in Waterville is now hiring starting at $21.87 per hour. Join Hudamaki, a company that prides itself in food safety and convenience. Start your career with our newly enhanced benefits package. Hudamaki is a company that cares about its people and sustainability. Hudamaki Incorporated are the makers of Chinet. Bring your family to ours and join the Hudamaki team. For more information, visit hudamaki.com or scan the QR code below. Want to grow your business and directly market to our local community? Ready to be part of exciting high school sports action and get your company brand noticed on our next live broadcast? Ready to be part of the big show? Don't miss out on this epic opportunity. Space is limited. Place your business ad with Epic View Studios during our live sports broadcast at just $2.99. That's 40 live games for the entire high school spring sports season. Contact the staff at Epic View Studios at epicview at yahoo.com. That's E-P-I-C-V-U-E -E at yahoo.com for more information. Greg Glynn, Athlete Brand Advisor and CEO of Pliable. Pliable helps high school, college, and professional athletes build their athlete brand. New name, image, and likeness opportunities are a game changer for athletes and for businesses. To learn more about social media marketing and endorsement opportunities for your brand, visit pliablemarketing.com or call 1-707-PLIABLE. Thank you. 
Headquartered in Westbrook, Maine, the ES Bolas Company is one of the oldest, largest, and most experienced electrical contractors in the Northeastern United States. Founded in 1920, ESB has established a solid reputation for quality, safety, and value that makes them a contractor of choice for major construction projects throughout the region. When you hire ES Bolas, you know you're getting the real thing. With decades of day-to-day -day management and industry knowledge, Bolas's team of smart, creative, and skilled professionals complete commercial, industrial, utility, and telecommunication projects of every size and scope. We don't have to limit ourselves with the type of construction that we go after. There's a huge amount of talent within the company. We've been in business as long as we have. There's nothing we haven't come across or dealt with. I'm Maddie Niles, and I love playing field hockey. When it comes to doing the things that you love, if you've had a sports injury, recent slip or fall, or maybe even something more serious, be sure to check out Advanced Health Physical Therapy and Fitness in Waterville. Their team of physical therapists can help you get back to doing the things that you love. With one-hour appointments, they work with you to create a customized treatment plan to help you recover faster. Right now, there are immediate appointments available. When you book an appointment, they evaluate your situation and create a treatment plan that can include therapeutic exercise, sports therapy, trigger point release, e-stimulation and ultrasound treatment, deep tissue and muscle work, and more. Whether it's neck or back pain, a knee problem, or recent surgery, they will help you recover the natural way. They accept new patients and most insurance, including main care. So, if you're looking to get back in the game, get back to work, or get back to doing the things that you love, give Advanced Health Physical Therapy and Fitness a call at 207-873-4638 and tell them Maddie sent you. Update your outdoor living space and make the most of your outdoor life with a new deck from Hammond Lumber Company. From wood to low maintenance composite and PVC decking, Hammond has the materials, knowledge and experience to help you get everything you need for that perfect new deck. Railing options include wood, composite, aluminum and the modern look of cable railing. Your Hammond sales rep can answer any questions and will walk you through your options. Get the deck you want, the one you deserve, when you bring your vision to Hammond Lumber Company. Make your wedding truly epic. Contact Epic View Studios now for wedding videography, photography, DJs, and more. Sure, there's more than one way to get the job done, but sometimes there's really no comparison. With all the power and versatility you'll ever need, you'll get more done in a day with Polaris. Chase Toys, Inc. on the Thorndike Road in Unity, your one-stop shop for Skidoo snowmobiles, Climb Outerwear, Polaris ATVs, and Husqvarna Lawn and Garden Equipment. Visit them online at chasetoysinc.com, like them on Facebook, or call Josh or Brian today at 948-5729. Foley's Famous Frank's on College Avenue in Waterville has been serving up legendary meals since 1962. Want a taste that'll bring you back to a simpler time? Foley's has the nostalgic flavor you're looking for. The iconic 
fresh cut crinkle fries that put bullies on the map in the 1960s are piping hot and have just been lightly salted. Great food, great prices, and don't forget to ask about our locally famous homemade salt pork. You'll notice our clean environment, consistent quality, and fast, friendly service as always. If you're on a lunch break or want a fast, great meal for the entire family, Bowley's is your hot spot. Welcome to Bowley's. How can we help you? Find us on Facebook and stop in on 96 College Avenue in Waterville for your next bite of nostalgia. Bowley's Famous Franks, bringing back a classic.